Zer is in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the Season of the Risen armor set. This is an old armor set considering this came out during Witch Queen, which was, damn, an expansion ago now. That's wild. Either way, this armor is really, really cool. I definitely would recommend people to pick this up. Here is the armor sets right now for all the classes. I definitely like a lot of the pieces in these sets. I'm not going to point to any particular one just because I don't really use. Oh, that's a lie. I use the Titan uh, Mark quite a bit. It's actually one of my favorite. Hold on. Let me see real quick because uh, I need to make sure that this is the one I'm thinking about and not just fucking hallucinating. So Warlock. Warlock chest piece is really, really cool. I really like it a lot. Arms are really good as well. I use that quite a bit as well. The boots are okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, Bond boring and the helmet I've actually used for a Oni set, like a, a Japanese Oni set type feel. Uh, Titans, I, if I remember correctly, it is the, yes. Okay, so for Titans, the arms are really, really cool. Chest piece can, bear, uh, can be used and the Mark is literally one of my favorite marks in the game if you're trying to go for like a warrior type feel because it is it is so good for that. Uh, helmet is also really, really cool as well. Hunters, uh, helmet is fine. I'm not the biggest fan of it just because all the helmets shade are really, really terribly. Uh, specifically, they take the off color or like a secondary color that you don't even that you rarely see. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Arms are okay i'm not the biggest fan of it either just because of the big fucking things on the arms i don't know what those are but they just look weird chess piece is you it's very serviceable but this chess piece was made for the cloak so just be aware that that's how it works and then for the boots i think the boots are okay nothing too crazy there so yeah i think the mark is definitely worth a pickup ignore everything else i just said get the mark because i feel like the mark is just one of the best marks in the game if you're trying to go for a warrior look so definitely get that uh let me know which pieces you guys are going to be picking up i would definitely pick up the helmets just because they are very unique and definitely can be used in some really cool sets like and um for the helmets i would literally use them uh well at least for the hunters and the warlocks i would use those for like oni looking helmets or like japanese sets just because it does feel like that the titans not so much i feel like that mm, i don't know it's the tusks that really don't make me feel like, oh, this looks Oni, but at the same time, I could definitely see someone using that helmet and I'd be like, okay, this is cool. You're going for a Japanese look, but let me know what you guys think about the armor set. For the weapons, we have Nature of Beast with Snapshot Sights and Rangefinder, which if I liked 180s, I think that this would be such a dub because I like Snapshot Sights on a hand cannon. Just um, that snappiness is really, really good. And Rangefinder just... Although, didn't Rangefinder get a nerf? I don't know if... I, to be fair, I haven't been reviewing weapons and whatnot and kind of haven't been, been paying attention to a lot of the stuff that's been happening with weapons. So I'm a little behind on that. That being said, I will start picking up on it again because I do want to start reviewing weapons. I know I keep saying that, but like it's actually happening. I'm editing a video right now. Uh, Disparity with Eye of the Storm and Desperado. I definitely would pick this up just because this weapon is super dope. Uh, it's also an aggressive four, so four shots, which is really cool. The only thing I would say is um, if you don't have this crafted, definitely pick it up because this is a craftable weapon and you definitely want the crafted version. So this is a red border weapon. Uh, same thing with Tears of Contrition. This is a red border weapon. So if you want to pick this up, definitely do that. It's a precision frame. I'm not the biggest fan of precision frames. That being said, I do like this precision frame just because it's super cool. And especially when you start like getting all the perks for it, then it's really, really cool. Um, we have Iota Draconis, which is from Season of the Lost. Um, I definitely am not. Oh, shit. Arch time with accelerated coils for a high impact. Ah, if it didn't have a dodge, you I'd be. Well, I don't know. These two are not that great, in my opinion, but I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, dodge would probably increase your increase your um, your I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't know. Maybe. 7 Sarah CQC 12. One of my favorite shotguns in the game. If you were not there for Season of the Worthy, unfortunately, you are not there for this because I think this skin looks fucking cool. But uh, Quick Draw and Vorpal. This is definitely a good PvE roll. I actually have I have this one specific. I have a roll with a uh, Vorpal weapon that I used to solo um, Prophecy all the way back when that was actually viable. Now, I don't know if it's viable anymore. I would still pick it up just because this is one of the best feeling shotguns for me. 
Uh, quick draw is going to be super dope. The only thing that sucks is Vorpal, but again, I just love this shotgun. Uh, Threaded Needle with Rangefinder and Vorpal. I would immediately just ignore this because Vorpal is not good on a heavy. I should, I should say that. It's not good on a heavy just because I think it does 10% damage if I remember correctly. This is this also isn't a weapon that you can craft, so it doesn't really matter. And then Quick Fang with a Relentless Strike and On Guard. I mean, if you don't have a Quick Fang, you can get one right now. Like, all you have to do is... Uh, where, 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 where? destinations all you have to do is go here and get it because i'm pretty sure it's through the war table that's it there's nothing you have to be a hunter obviously but other than that that's really it and then for the exotics let's uh we have moving target with hawk moon i don't know how i feel about that my good sir i guess we have Dead Man's Tail with Snapshot Sights. I just... Man, dude, they really fucked up Dead Man's Tail, didn't they? Like, Cranial Spike sucks. Like, I don't even know what to use this weapon for anymore. I still get killed by it quite a bit in PvP, but it's not the same as it used to be. Quite frankly, I'm happy about that, because considering it was uh, busted as fuck. But at the same time, I wish they didn't ch touch the Cranial Spike damage, because that was really cool. Um, But yeah, Snapshot Sights, I guess it's fine using it like that and then for the exotic black talent which is a really good pvp weapon um just because it's a sword but also you get that the third person view but it, you can also use it as a gun because you can fire a projectile which is really cool we have lucky pants with um some very mediocre rolls damn that's disrespectful synthoseps with 22 mobility which is super gross. If the mobility and the recovery was switched, I would say this is easily a god roll. Uh, getaway artist with decent rolls, I would say. I would probably bump up the recovery to a plus 10, so that way it'd be an 18. And then once Master it could be a 20. That, that'd be, I kind of want to get it. <laughs> uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll see what which getaway artist I have. Currently, let's see what I have or what I get. Renewal Grasps. Okay, cool. So garbage. Um, we're going to go see what it does because I have a few things to say. So first and foremost, uh, I should have already done the... Actually, I shouldn't... I don't know why I'm saying it. I already released the uh, Sunlit Armor Set review, which you guys can check out right here. We um, go through how the armor looks, how it shaders, and my personal thoughts on it. And I really love that armor. And then the shader video, which I wasn't supposed to put out, but I, dis I guess I... Uh, put the video out by accident uh, Just all the shaders that you can put on the weapon or on the armor sets and whatnot definitely pick it up You know, that's not bad, dude. It's not bad. Um resilience at 24 because uh, obviously I would bump up the resilience <sighs> That recovery is pretty terrible. I don't know. I Just I fucking wish hunters could get mobility resilience and recovery all at once. Yeah, like that would be great because um, then I wouldn't have to choose between having resilience or recovery. It pisses me the fuck off. So yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Again, some cool stuff this uh, week for Zer. I am definitely going to be skipping out on solstices here because I don't want the armor that I just got to be uh, a glow version. I just don't like the glow because it's bad. Um, and it's like last year where the glow actually overseeds the basic armor so if you are interested in just keeping that armor as is don't do uh solstice because solstice will the glow will overseed the regular armor which means that we can't choose like last year let me give you a good example this should be in a video and i probably will make it a video because it it properly pisses me off um as a fashion content creator because it just limits you limits people really so i'll give you a good example let me do the boots because I don't have the boots for that armor. So here is the white glow. This is the one you get when you masterwork the armor from Solstice. I think this was two years ago, I think. And then you can just get the regular look, which I, again, I have it on my arms right now because I, I think the non-armor, non, the non-armor, God damn it, the non-glow looks really cool. So the fact that they're actually making people do this armor but not have the non-glow version is pretty terrible considering they did that last year with this armor. And quite frankly, I think it's terrible because the glow actually makes it look worse. And not only that, sometimes I just don't want the glow. Like for example, this look that I have right now, 
don't want to glow on it which is why i have the luminous grass without the glow so really big problem for bungie at least i think so because it just stifles people which at this point i think i'm just gonna make a video on why the fuck they keep fucking up with armor because it, it's i've been noticing it for a while but yeah let me know what you guys think uh be safe i'll see you guys later